So this right here is the Philips Beeline 34 inch ultra wide curved LCD monitor or in other words called the 346B1C monitor. Yeah. Anyway, I've been using this monitor for roughly a week now and these are my thoughts. Well, let's start with the unboxing process. It was fairly simple, nothing out of the ordinary or shall I say Apple-esque. So opening the box immediately reveals the cables, the accessories, the base, stand, and obviously the paperwork. Now here comes the tricky part. Uh, this is mainly because, well, it's a curved display. It's going to be very fragile, obviously. In order to lift the monitor out of the box, you really need to fix the stand or the base first. And attaching the base isn't really that complicated. It's just two parts just merging together. And then you got to screw on the base that you don't really need a screwdriver or a drill to like... Uh, fixing this place because there's like a little flap on the bottom that allows you to just use your hand to screw it into place easy and once you're done with that all you gotta do is slot the part where it needs to fit to the monitor just slot it in at an angle until you hear a click and boom and using the stand you can just lift the monitor out easily carefully no problem so what's my opinion on the stand it's well, very adjustable so the height adjustability part, well, it's around 18 centimeters. And all you gotta do is just use one finger and just press it down, and it goes as such. And with one finger, you can lift it up. Very simple, very smooth, extremely stable, Not nothing really tough to in there. So for the uh, viewing angle aspect, you can tilt it 30 degrees to the back and five forward. And yes, this monitor, it swivels, so you can turn it 180 degrees to the left or the right it's incredible so viewing angle wise for an ultra wide monitor this is just perfect the ports are mostly underneath the display it's got a hdmi port a display port a usb type c thunderbolt port uh, it's got a lan cable an audio output and on the side it's got three usb port and one usb fast charging port which is absolutely handy and right below it's got a usb up port if you want to use it since this thing has a USB Type-C port on the back, it can act as a dock for your iPad, your MacBook, or your laptop. So not only will the monitor power your device, it will also act as a transport hub. So you got extra USB ports to transfer your files. Remember when I said this, this thing has a LAN port built in the back? Well, guess what? You can just connect your LAN cable to the display instead of to your laptop, making it super clean for you to manage your cables, which is just perfect. So that's the cool thing about USB Type-C. It allows you to watch high resolution video transfer speeds. And it's and while you're doing that, it also powers up or recharges your laptop. I mean, perfect. Let's talk about the display. It's a wide quad HD display, which means it's around 3440 by 1440p. So it's a 4K display. And this thing is a 100 hertz display, so it's decent enough for gaming. I'm gonna leave like uh, the other nitty gritty specifications over here if you wanna check them out. So uh, here they are, pause the video, check them out if you want to. Uh, and also this monitor has an anti-glare coating to prevent any reflections, especially if you're in a very brightly lit room or you're beside your window so this thing really helps out so thanks to the ultra wide 21 by 9 aspect ratio you've got an enormous amount of space to work with so this really helps boost the productivity in your workflow so for a gaming streaming side you can open a separate window for your obs or whatever software you're using to stream and you can game on the white screen without any problem so this monitor also has a cool multi-view technology so thanks to multi-view it enables active connection between two separate devices for example like a pc and a notebook or a laptop and an ipad you can simultaneously multitask easily with just a press of a button this thing has three ports mainly for your display functions for example the first one hdmi 2.0 and then it's got the display port uh, port and it's got the usb type c so for example for me i'm using the type c and the hdmi port so i can just switch between using my ipad on the big screen or my laptop with just a press of a button so 
on your bottom right is where you get all your uh, buttons to control the monitor you got your on and off switch you got your display setting switch you got your uh, source switch to switch between all your different sources like hdmi usb type c your display port and obviously the setting button opens a variety of different settings that you can do it has a built-in power sensor so there's a built-in sensor on the bottom side of the Philips monitor it kind of works similarly to the iphone's uh, face scanner where it shoots out and receives a harmless infrared rays so for example if you're actually sitting in front of the monitor the infrared will detect it and you can use your monitor normally or for example if you step away uh, the sensor is able to detect it and reduce the brightness putting it in low power mode which really saves a lot of uh, power for you at Corny Phillips it saves up to 70% of your energy cost prolonging the monitor's life which is a win-win in my book so on the settings, you can also turn on your light sensors, which means it will be able to detect the brightness of the room and adjust the brightness of the display to it. We obviously know that there are short wavelength uh, blue light rays that comes from LCD or LED monitors, which can uh, damage your eyes in the long run. But thanks to the setting over here, you can turn it on to various levels. There's four levels over here. So you're going to turn it on and enjoy your monitor experience without worrying about damaging your eyes in the long run. Obviously there's also the input setting so you can also choose between various inputs uh, through the setting. There's also the picture settings where you can turn off adaptive sync which is perfect for gaming. So thanks to the adaptive sync technology you'll get a full width artifact free performance at virtually any frame rate. You got a lot of quick refresh rates and ultra fast response times, especially if you're doing FPS gaming. So this monitor is good for that. So obviously you can adjust your picture format, your brightness, your contrast, your sharpness. There's also smart response, smart contrast that you can turn on, uh, gamma, pixel or reading, all the settings, you can do it over here. And another thing that this thing have that I haven't really tried it yet is that it's got picture in picture mode so if you're connected to two different devices so one of it can be sort of like a picture in picture esque mode i don't know if that is what you want but you can if you want to and obviously you can also adjust the audio this monitor has built-in speakers which are pretty decent nothing too amazing but it works for what it's got so the multi-client kvm switch will enable you to control two separate pcs with one monitor and keyboard setup if you're the type that is like super productive uses two pcs at the same time this guy is able to handle it thanks to the kvm switches just like the multi-view technology with a click of a button you're able to switch between two different pcs easily so i've been using this thing for a week uh gaming entertainment productivity it works just amazing so experiencing entertainment on this monitor is just well, it's been a new experience for me. It's been an amazing experience for me because I'm so used to smaller screens. <laughs> so having this extra screen real estate is just amazing. I mean, just look at that. I know it doesn't really appear that big through uh, my video, but in person, this is just phenomenal. So watching the normal 16 by 9 aspect ratio is, I mean, it's just as good. Well, yes, you'll get these black bars on the side which is a bit annoying but you know you'll get used to it but still watching these videos while uh, doing your work on the screen below is just an interesting experience to tell the least and as soon as you turn on something that is uh, compatible with a 21 by 9 aspect ratio it just becomes super amazing for example this video of Norway that is 8k I mean just look at the colors over here it's just it's amazing. I also watch Avengers Endgame in a 21 by 9 aspect ratio and oh my god did the end battle scene look amazing. <laughs> so on the gaming aspect for this monitor it does well but not great. That's my only problem with it. Now when you play mainly story mode games like Jedi Fallen Order like having the widescreen really really helps you immerse yourself into the game and that's just perfect but as soon as you play multiplayer fps games that is when the problem kind of starts so the monitor that i have is the lenovo legion 5i 
and this guy has 144 hertz display so i'm very used to the frame rates of this laptop compared to this monitor which has a low a lower frame rate now yes this thing has the adaptive sync technology but you can kind of notice a small tiny drop in frame rate so that's something to note it's not bad it's just a little bit annoying so that's one thing to note okay so if you have a very high-end gaming laptop and you're used to that frame rate well it's gonna be a little bit of a problem <laughs> but other than that gaming on this monitor is just perfect yeah finally i want to talk about the ipad yeah so the ipad pro obviously has the usb type c and yes it's got thunderbolt capabilities so i've not only used uh, the laptop with this monitor i've also used my ipad pro the 2021 that has thunderbolt capabilities thanks to the usb type c and not, not gonna lie it's pretty decent and again the drop in frame rate is noticeable because the ipad is 120 hertz and this one's 100 so you notice the drop in frame rates when you're swiping through the home screen but let me tell you this editing luma fusion on this ipad while using this display is just wow okay it's an interesting experience especially for me uh, i'm new to this i'm using luma fusion with a click of a button that appears the second you connect the monitor to the ipad uh, it immediately uses the monitor as your display section for your video which is very very helpful so those who are editing using maybe a macbook or your ipad or even editing photos using photoshop well this monitor does very very well it's got pretty accurate colors rgb obviously so that's my review and first thoughts on this amazing monitor this won't be the last i will be making more videos mainly on instagram so if you want to check out more videos on this monitor you gotta follow me uh, by instagram the link will be in the description and if you want to purchase this monitor for yourselves i'll also leave a link in the description where you can get these so obviously thank you philips monitor malaysia for sponsoring this video thank you for sending me this amazing monitor really helps a lot i uh, hope i get work with you guys uh, again in the future and uh yeah obviously do leave a like and of course subscribe to the channel because i'm going to be posting a lot more videos a lot more reviews and obviously gaming videos so uh, in order to know when i post my next video you gotta hit the subscribe button and the bell icon too so uh, thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace